Hi everybody, this is Carmen with a little time out for me. I know it's been a while, a um, lot going on, but I've been really wanting to get back into hauls and some craft videos. So um, I've joined the Tamu kick and thought I would start back, <clears throat> excuse me, with that. And I have a ton of Tamu stuff. Uh, this first one's going to be housewares, but I have craft stuff and we've gotten clothes and just um, <laughs> really, really um, get a little addicted to it. So let me go ahead and start. And these are some kitchen things that I've picked up for um, organizing and just adding a little bit more to the kitchen. These are under, under um, cabinet lights. And I got them in two different sizes and they have, they charge with a USB, which I like because I have some that um, are battery operated and it's kind of a pain to pull out with a battery, but these were not bad at all. I got a few of them to put all the way along my cabinet. So when I get that done, I'll show you, <clears throat> but I have one here that you can see it's just a little light. Um, they have a little stickers to put underneath the cabinet with magnets so they're magnetic attached under the shelf so this would go right under the shelf and then it's a sensor so this one's not on but as you walk by it would turn the light on I'm oh, sorry about that bright light betcha but that, I think there's different options Let me get them to work but there you go. As soon as it senses motion, it turns the light on and then it turns it off. And then they're rechargeable by USB. So I got a few of those to put under the cabinets. Then I got um, a bunch of silicone stuff. We had kind of a, we redid the sink and I wanted to have some protector items around it. So actually, so underneath the cabinet, here it's a huge silicone mat. I always put contact paper or something underneath the cabinet to protect it, but I saw this and I thought it was pretty cool. It's a big, it's just a big silicone mat to sit underneath the cabinet. And this is a really hard way to show you guys, but I will take a picture here. And it'll just sit underneath the cabinet and protect it from any water leaks. Because we had a water leak and ended up putting a new sink. Um, new faucet and then I got a new sink. So that was one thing I found. They have some really cool things for the kitchen. And this is for on top of my stove. This is also silicone and it holds spices. So I can put, and it's got some magnets here to attach to it to hold it down. And it's just a big silicone rack. And I will take a picture and put that up as well. So you can see what that looks like finished. Let me put it here. Now I can keep my spices over my stove instead of around my stove. Because my cabinets are very oddly shaped. Um, so I can't feel my spices in there. And this is another silicone oil. And this is for the refrigerator for under the water dispenser. You know how it always catches water? I don't know if you do, but ours always drips ice that's melting in the catch or um, just extra spills, overflows of water. So this will catch it and then we could just dump this out and rinse it off and it's silicone. So it should be easier to clean. Um, it's here in Arizona, we have hard water and it's really hard to get that little tray cleaned out. So hopefully this will work. And then one more silicone kitchen item it's sometimes we have our pan sets never came with enough lids there were lids to share so what these silicone things what we've been doing i guess i should back up what we've been doing is putting a sheet of aluminum foil over a pan for a lid when we want to steam something and i saw these and i thought this is kind of cool i'll keep us from using aluminum foil too much and you see this rest right over the little pot. It comes in a set of five. And they're just silicone mats. I'll just take the little one out. 
Well, actually, yeah, five. But they're just little silicone mats, and you just rest it over your pot as a lid. So I think these will come in handy, especially with the kids. They've been cooking more, and um, they're learning how to steam things or, or put a cover over it, like with a burger or something, so that the inside will cook and before the outside cooks too fast. So we got those. And then, let's see, this is for outside. It's a solar light floating ball. So I just thought this would be fun to put in the pool. It's supposed to light up and then just make a display in the pool. So I will also take a picture or video and add it here so you can see that and how that works. <clears throat> so far, everything we've used um, has been pretty good from Tamu. I haven't had any complaints. I've had to do a couple of refunds on clothing because um, if the, I didn't like the fabric, it just didn't fit right, but they've been really good about that or they've, um, they're just really good about that or they don't have you even send it in, they just reimburse, so it's kind of cool. Another thing I said, we were in Arizona, so we've been um, getting really hot, so I went ahead and tried these popular neck fans. And I got one for each of us. I think I have mine out here somewhere. But they work fairly well. It, they, of course, they work. They just blow the air that's around you. So if you have hot air around you, it's going to blow hot air. But I use mine, so I think that's what the guys wanted to use it for was for the yard work. And it didn't really work well for that. But when they use it indoors, or like when I've used it, when I get a little too hot inside, I just put it on my neck. Of course, mine is pink. My favorite color is pink, which you will learn. And this one has an adjustable neck. So we'll see how this works. Um, it's got a USB charge. And then mine has three speeds. One of the guy's um, fans had five speeds, but um, it works well indoors. And just not so well outdoors, at least not right now in the Arizona summers that we're having right now. But I like it so far, and the kids like it. Then another thing I've gotten, and it's really hard to tell, and I'm not going to open this up yet, but I will take a picture. Um, my son just got a new loft bed, but he has nowhere to store anything up in the loft part of his bed. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> so I did a search. I found a, a shelf. So what you do is you stick it with some adhesive on the side of the rail. And it's supposed to be for really lightweight things. So he can put like his phone and maybe uh, his little dot, <coughs> Alexa dot. Um, not much, but at least he'll have some place to hold things while he's up there. <coughs> Another thing I found, oh, I forgot about this. Another kitchen thing. I wanted for my sink a place, a nice place to store my soaps and, and sponges without it getting all gunky and messy up there. And so I found this cute little wire rack. This hook hooks on the bottom so you can hang a towel to it. And I'm going to get it out of the wrapping. And it's just a nice little um, basket. And the bottom slopes down, so whatever water's on the sponges, it'll just drip off. I can't find an opening. <laughs> so whatever, <clears throat> what I was saying, it has a slope, so whatever little, um, you see that slope, that it slopes down. So whatever you have in there that has water, it'll just drain back into the sink and keep the back of the sink cleaner. So I will be using that, and I'll post a picture of that as well once I get there. But it's very cute. It's about three, about seven and a half inches long and one, two, about three inches wide. There's that nice little basket. I just have a ton of stuff around me. This has been a good find. Like I mentioned. <clears throat> we have the heat, a lot of heat. And so this is actually plugs into the USB in our car and it's a fan for the back seat. Our back um, of the car doesn't get cooled off fast enough for the kids. So we put this in and they've loved it. 
it helps circulate the air a little faster as it's as the car cools off so I'll take a picture of this too in the car but you just hook it up to one of the front seat headrests and um, plug it in and it has three speeds and it works really well it's a little noisy but they like it it's a vehicle fan double high. I've seen a lot of them on Tamu lately and then I just bought somehow I ended up with two different kinds of I don't remember ordering one but at some point I accidentally stuck two in my cart and these are just eyeglass cleaning wipes and we usually buy these at the big box warehouse so just thought I would try these and see how they do and then I got another spice rack and I'll put this together and show everybody in a picture but it's um, one of those that you put in and it swivels the middle swivels and then the outside swivels so that you can access all your different spices without having to, to dig around so that you would be able to turn it around to get to what you want right in front. It's called a spice spinner. So I've been wanting one of those for a while. Shows you here two levels, four heights, dual spin, and a D shape. So that is my housewares to move haul. Stay tuned or check out the craft one. I'm gonna have a lot of craft ones. I'm trying to dig through all my crafts and organize them and getting some little add-ons to enhance what I wanna make. So stay tuned for a Tamu haul for that. But thank you so much for watching and we'll see you later and talk to you later. Look for my craft video. Bye-bye.